Okay, good day. So uh, this is aircraft structures one for final stream. So first we discuss um about deflection or yung uh, discussion during midterms. And engineer Alberto Castigliano developed a method of determining deflection of structures by stain energy method. No? His theorem of derivatives of internal work of deformation extended its application to the calculation of relative rotations and displacement between points in the structures and to the study of beams in flexure, which is discussed last time. No? And then, what is the objective no, kung bakit natin to kailangan gamitin yung strain energy method no kasi that is the one who use no to no to determine the deflection of truss no so we have flexure formula ng beams and frames now this time we calculate the deflection of statically determined truss naman okay so lagi niyo tatandaan yung point 3 calculate deflection of statically determinate structure in any direction at point where the load is not acting by fixtures load method okay so yeah this is sample of truss structures no na statically determinate we have three reactions uh from a and g no and then external forces of 6 4 10 6, 4, 10. And then, yung mga external loads na yan, no, that produce a structural deformation. No? It depends kung anong kukunin o kung saan mo kukunin yung deflection na yun. Wherein, pwede mong i-apply dito sa C, pwede yung D yung kunin mong deflection, or D, or E. No? It depends dun sa gusto nyong kuhain na deflection. And deformation may be twisting, bending, or stretching of elements. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng stretching of elements? So, ano yung elements dyan? Yung elements dyan is yung mga member. No, meron kang member AB, member BC, member AC, member CD. No? And then, work involves loads and deflection. And if we know the loads and deflection, we can calculate the work. No? As a work is related to, to what? To your energy. Okay, so from first law of thermodynamics is a version of conservation of energy, wherein uh, energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be changed from one form to another. Okay, so dito sa atin, no, sa, uh, sa structures, there is no heat added. No, There is no heat sa structures na nagaganap no ibang topic naman yun so dito sa equation natin meron tayong internal energy when we're in yun yung nararamdaman kung bakit nagkakaroon ng deformation yung mga elements or member okay in the structures application as you, as you can read external work is converted into internal deformation or ito yung tinatawag nating strain energy okay Yung strain energy na yun, yun yung pinatunayan ni Castigliano. So, strain energy is a useful concept in structural analysis. Deflection calculation begin with strain energy. So, you have your uh, formula dyan, no? as you can see. So, yung U dyan is what? The strain energy. Okay? Yung E is modulus of elasticity or yang modulus. And E is the deformation no or the deflection or stream no ng material okay so moving on no in term u represent the internal uh, the energy per unit volume so for our truss elements that stress in any one element is constant so the total strain energy is a single bar for instant element eb is just the constant density times the element volume so, if marami ka ng element like element AB, element BC, basta yung element na sinasabi is the member. So, isa sum mo lang yun. Kung ano yung sum, merong equation na gagamitin no, to get the deflection. Okay? So, the, so, the strain energy equation is this one. Okay, box lang natin. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is your 
uh, strain energy equation. So U, again, is the strain of that element, the, of that particular element. F is the internal force no, applied or acting dun sa element. And then, no, this one, delta, is your deflection. So, all in all, your equation to get the deflection of the thrust is delta is equal to F over mm -hmm. that is U, okay, 2U over F, okay, or F, T, no, depende, pwedeng T pag mechanics of material, as long as yung F is force, P is a force, okay, U is the deflection, okay, so sample tayo for basic lang, so meron kang applied load na P, okay, and then, that is the force, no, ngayon, ang anong equation natin, to get the deflection, dun kung saan naka-apply yung load P, no, so pangalanan muna natin to, so ito is A, uh, this is B, and this is C, okay, so, kunin natin yung deflection at B, okay, so, again, yung technique na to is for one external load lang yung gagamitin. Pag ganitong drawing na or truss like dito, three external force. Yan, diba? Three external force. A different method. Pero pag isa lang, kunyari wala yung four, wala yung ten, and then hinahanap is deflection at B, ang gagamitin mo, itong uh, susulat ko na equations. Okay? So, una mong gagawin is get the internal force. Yun yung una. Kasi what is the equation of flexion? Okay. So, deflection at B or equation deflection is 2U over F or 2U over P. Now, kailangan mo munang kunin yung value ng ating U. Okay, ng ating strain energy. So, ang equation ng strain energy is F. Okay. F squared L over 2AE. Okay, this equation is for internal or this process is for one external load lang. Okay. So, F, paano naman makukuha yung F? No? Yung L is given, yun yung length ng ating mga members or element. And then, A is given, no? So, constant 600 millimeters squared. And E, the young modulus is constant 200 GPA. So F is, paano ba makukuha yung F? Simply using method of joints. Okay? So kunin natin yung member uh, A, B, B, C, and A, C. No? So ako, dahil meron ako nakitang three force member, no? tulad ng tinuro sa inyo last time. This one, dito mag -una. Dito mag-start, hindi ko na kukunin yung reactions at uh, C or A. No, diretso na ako sa member uh, sa joint B. Okay? So at joint B okay, at joint B meron tayong 50 kN downward and then so 1 member BC so, assume ko lahat muna is tension. Member BC and member AB. Okay. So, this time, no, yung theta, yung ano. So, paano natin kukunin yung theta? Using this triangle. So, this is your theta. And theta is equal to arctan. No? Arctan, 400 millimeter over 300 millimeter. And arctan is no, 53.130102352 degrees story. Okay. So that is your theta. Okay. So pwede na tayong mag-summation forces. Okay. So this time nakuha na natin yung theta which is 53.130102352 degrees and yung story ko sa A. Now, we will get the member DC you know, using summation forces y is equal to 0. Going up is positive. So, meron tayong negative 50 kN plus sine theta 
BC is equal to 0. Okay? And then, transpose natin to sa kabila. So, BC is equal to 50 kN over sine alpha A. So, BC is equal to... Okay, so dapat ang BC na makuha ninyo is 62.5. Okay. So, 62.5 kilo newton. So, correct na in tension siya. Next naman is to get the AB. Okay. Summation forces X is equal to 0. Going right is positive. No. We have negative AB minus uh, BC cosine theta is equal to 0. Okay. So, transpose natin yung AB sa kabila. So, we have AB is equal to negative 62.5 kilonewton cosine store A. So, AB is equal to what? Sine alpha A and that is 37.5. Okay. So, that is 37, negative 37.5 Kilo Newton. Okay. So, that is negative. So, ibig sabihin, compressive yung dapat na uh, action ng no, ating AB, compressive force. Okay. So, mamaya na natin uh, babaguhin yan. No? No, uh, ang importante kasi dito is we assume lahat na tension. Okay. Next is um so, uh, let's solve the member AC. So, as you can see, no, na yung member BC is kinakounter kina niya na yung uh, load pin natin na 50 kilo newton. No? If, if, no, if gusto nyo mag-moment sa A, okay, sa mission moment, A is equal to 0, clockwise positive. Ang mangyayari lang is 50 Kilo newton times 300 millimeter. Okay. And then, assume tayo dito sa C ng going to the left na C sub X. Sorry. Okay. So, C sub X. This is your C sub X. So, that is negative C sub X. Um, times 400 millimeter is equal to zero. Okay. So, magkakaroon ka ng value na C sub X. C sub X is equal to what? Okay, computein ko lang. 50 times 300 divided 400. So, meron kang 37.5. 37.5 na kilonewton sa C sub X. Now, pag nag-summation forces X ka, uh, may ka-counter na a sub x dito. Okay? So, dun sa 50 kilo newton, no, hindi maghahate yung uh, member uh, hindi maghahate member A, C or hindi maghahate yung point C and point A. No, pag nag-summation forces Y ka, is equal to 0, going up is positive. AY plus CY is equal to 0. Okay. So, therefore, uh, AY is 0, CY is also 0. So, kung titingnan mo yung joint A, okay, joint A tayo, kung magjo-joint A tayo, joint A, masasabi mo na yung member AC is 0 force member. Okay. So, ibig sabihin, AC is equal to 0 or 0 force member yung inyong AC. Okay? So, ang kailangan lang is summation, di ba? So, as you as you can read dito, um, 
sum of all the elements. As in, total string energy. So that is sum of all elements. Okay. So dito, um, pukunin natin yung summation no, ng ating string energy. So that is u is equal to summation f squared n over ae to ae tama okay so kung isusulat natin yan strain energy is equal to ating ab element ab squared l over 2 ae plus bc squared l over 2 ae N plus AC squared L over 2 A. Okay? Meron tayo AB, BC, and AC. So, U is equal to AB. Anong bali ng AB natin? Negative 37. So, negative 37.5 kilonewton. No? Squared. Ang length natin is in terms of um, mm. So, ano yung length ng ating member AB? So, 300. So, that is 300 mm squared over 2 times ating area is 600 mm squared. And E is 200. Tama. 200 GPA. So, 200 uh, GPA. Next, ating BC. Meron tayong BC na 62.5. Okay. 62.5 kilonewton squared. And BC is 500 M. MM. Okay. Sorry, dito walang squared. Yan. Over 2 times 600 mm squared 200 GPA. Okay. Plus 0. No, kasi yung AC is 0, 4. So, 0 na yan. Okay. So, ano yung nakuha nyo? Strain energy. Okay, so ang nakuha ko is 9.89583333. Now, yung GPA is what? No, equivalent yan sa kilonewton per millimeter squared. Tama? No? So, pwede nyo i-post to. Search nyo kung ang GPA is equal to, uh, 1 GPA is equal to 1 kilonewton per uh, millimeter square. Okay. So, kung tama yan, uh, maka-cancel out lang yung ating units. So, this this one is 2. So, is merong 2. Cancel. Cancel. Next is maka-cancel out to. So, merong kang kilonewton mm. Okay. So, that is kilonewton mm. Kilonewton mm. Okay. So, Kung deflection yung kukunin natin, no? yung equation natin ng deflection is, is 1, 2u over p. Okay? So deflection at v is equal to 2 times 9.89583333 kilonewton mm all over uh, yung ating p which is 50 kilonewton. So 50 kilonewton. So, deflection at B is equal to 2. So, that is 0 0.39583333 mm. Okay. So, cancel out the kilonewton and that is your deflection. Okay. So, next naman is isolve natin yung uh, mas mahirap. No? 
So again, ulitin ko guys, this uh this particular method is only for one applied load only. Okay? So try naman natin yung uh, mas mahirap. Okay? So this one is nilagyan ko lang ng two members no so mas maraming members siya ilang members siya 1 2 3 4 5 now uh i-check natin kung statically determinate or indeterminate siya okay so dito no lagyan natin to ng uh, roller so kanina uh, statically determinate din yan kasi this one is uh, ruler also okay Okay, so statically in the uh, determinate yan, i-compute nyo na lang na. So, now, pag mas maraming member naman, um, gagamitan mo siya simply ng table. Okay, check ko lang kung ano pang kulang. Is, okay, 500 and then 600. Okay. So, yung length BD is 500 meter and this one is 600 millimeters. Okay. So, same process pa rin. You need to get the strain energy by summation of F squared L over 2AE. Okay. So, yung F is magagaling sa method of joints. No? Lahat nung internal force ng element kailangan mong kunin. So, meron tayong five elements dyan. So, start tayo dito sa D. No? Kasi hindi uh, na natin kukunin yung mga reaction. Okay. So, start tayo sa D. We have joint D. Joint D. Joint D. Meron tayong going down 50 kilonewton and then going to the yeah, member CD and member DD. Okay? So, yun yung ating mga members. So, lahat ina-assume ko na tension. So, theta no? so that theta so, try natin isolve no, kung theta rin yan. So, kung titingnan natin yung ating triangle, this one, oh, that is okay, dito, yun yung hati natin. So, if this is beta, ito yung tita natin. Ito is beta. Tama? So, kailangan natin malaman this one. Uh, assume natin this is alpha. Para hindi tayo maluto. So, this is alpha. Okay, now, paano mo kukunin yung uh, inyong alpha? No? So, simply, kailangan mo lang kunin kung anong length value na ito. No, kasi um, based, based sa figure, hindi siya uh, saktong nasa gitna. Pero kasi kung 500, 500 yan, dapat nasa gitna. Yan. So check natin, dapat yung X natin is mag 300. Okay. So that is kung beta yan. So katawa, simply sign beta tama is equal to x over 500 millimeter and then x is equal to 500 millimeter sine ano that is sine 90 minus theta tama so check natin So that is 300. 300 and then. So therefore, kung 300 yan, and this is also 300 
No, ito is 300 din guys. So usap kung nasa gitna siya. Pangit lang drawing ko. So therefore, pwede nating sabihin this is also theta. No? And this is also theta. So this is theta din. Tama? So try natin yung solve para sure tayo. So that is 400. So arctan 400 over 300. Okay, so theta din, 53 degrees. So now, pwede na tayong mag-solve. So summation forces y is equal to 0. Going upward is positive. That is negative 50 kilonewton minus sine theta bd is equal to 0 and bd is equal to what? Negative sixty two point five kilonewton. Okay, so sa CD naman sa mission forces x is equal to zero. Going up, uh, going left, uh, going right is positive. Negative CD minus uh, negative sixty two point five kilonewton. Tama? Cosine theta is equal to zero. So CD is equal to positive value. So 62.5 times cosine T. So that is 37. 37.5 kilonewton. Okay, so that is your uh, CD and BD. Okay. Next is kukuni naman natin yung Member BC and AB. So, dito tayo. No? Let's try to solve this one. Itong joint na to. Okay, so at joint B. Okay. At joint B, we have B members. So we have BD, this one, BD is negative 62.5 kilonewton, and then BC, BC, and then your AB, AB, and this is your theta. Okay, now pwede natin makuha yung AB. Summation forces X is equal to zero, going right is positive. Negative AB plus, oh, this is your theta also, um, negative 62.5 kilonewton cosine theta is equal to zero. Tama? Wala na ba? Yep. Uh, may X pa na BC. Okay. So that is plus BC. Okay. BC and minus, sorry, on negative BC cosine theta is equal to 0. Okay, dalawang unknown. Lipat muna tayo. Summation forces Y is equal to 0. Going up is positive. We have sine theta negative 62.5 kilonewton plus BC sin theta is equal to 0. Okay? So, maka-cancel out lang yung sin theta natin. Tama? And then, BC is equal to 62.5 kilo newton. Okay? So, meron na tayong BC. Apply natin dito. So, that is negative okay? negative 62.5 times cosine A Okay, minus uh, BC na 62.5 positive cosine and that is negative 75. Okay. So, 
negative AB is equal um, minus 75 kilonewton is equal to zero and AB is equal to negative 75 kilo newton. Okay. So that is your member AB. Okay. So last is member meron na tayong AC. Okay. Member AC na lang ang wala tayo. Okay. So at joint A okay. So pwede tayong kumuha rito. Okay. At joint A Joint A, we have ruler. Okay. So this is AX. No, actually not an AX. And AB, no, na tension. This is negative 75 kilonewton. And member AC. Okay. okay. By summation forces, Y is equal to zero. Going up is positive. No, AC is equal to zero. AC is equal to zero. Okay. So, meron tayong five members after nyan, no, para mas mapadali tayo, is gagawa tayong table. Okay. So, naka-table tayo. Suppose ko muna, gagawa muna ang table. Okay. So, ayan, gumawa ang table. Um, Sa CD natin, meron tayong 37. 37.5. Sa ating AC is 0. Ating AB is negative 75. Ang ating BD is 62. Negative 62.5. And BC is 62.5. Okay. So ating length ng CD is 600. Ating AB is 300. Ating AC is 400. And ating uh, BC is 500. And then 500 for BB. Tama? Okay. Check natin if my correction AB is 300, AC is 400. Okay. So A naman is isa lang. So that is 600. Okay. So 600. Ating E is 200 GPA. Okay. So kunin natin yung um ating u per member tama bago tayo mag summation so, dito natin siya lagay so at, this is our stream energy na uh, f f squared l over 2 ae okay so kukunin natin yung per member per element so that is 37.5 squared times 600 over 2 times 600 times 200. So dito meron tayong 225 over 64. Ang units neto kilonewton mm. Okay. So next is negative 75 squared times 300 over 2 times 600 times 200. So that is 225 over 32. Next is 0. Next is 62.5 squared times 500 times over 2 times 600 times 200. So that is 3125 over 384. So paras lang sila. So 3125 over 384. Now, no, kailangan makuha yung U using summation ng ating 
F squared L over 2 A. So, ano yung strain energy natin? Okay. So, 3125 over 384 plus 3125 over 384 plus 225 over 64 plus 225 over 32. And that is 26 or 25.75 over 96 kilonewton millimeter. Okay? So, deflection, kung saan naka-apply yung load P, so deflection at D is equal to uh, 2U over P. Sama? So, check natin. So, that is 2u over p. Okay, 2u over p. So we have 2 times 2575 over 96 kilonewton millimeter over 50 kilonewton. Cancel out. Reflection at D is 103. Okay, we have 103 over 96 or 1.07. So 1.07291666667 millimeter. Okay, now, uh, paano naman isolve yung ganito, yung marami external force, yung, which is that look. No? So, gagamitan natin siya ng virtual method wherein, kunyari, hinanap yung deflection at B, kukunin, i, ilalagay natin doon yung uh, unit load or dummy load. If deflection at C, yeah, kukunin natin doon yung dummy load or doon natin ilalagay. Okay, so, for part 2, I watch na yung video.